Okay, hello again everyone, and welcome back to Satisfactory. I'm having my usual recording issues here, but we'll see how that works. Um, yeah, it's been a little while. I got some stuff done. It's also been some real-world busy weeks for me, so I've been a bit behind on this, but let me show you where we are and see if I can catch you up. All right. The main thing that has happened lately is I did finish setting up a lot of my oil extractors like I had shown you, but then I um, went a little bit further and started a plastic factory without showing y'all. Oops. So let me show you what I, but what am I doing? Okay. At any rate, I have enough data now that I can unlock the next milestone. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll go show you the factory later. Milestone reached. It is my honor and privilege to inform you that the fuel powered generator, as well as the industrial fluid buffer, are now available. Due to a lack of gold in your sector, Caterium will be required to construct the fuel powered generator. Additional research and development relating to this new material can be done in the MAM. Yeah, the main thing there is we can now scan for Caterium. Fortunately, I actually discovered a Caterium node a bit earlier but we can go back and exploit it now. Um, we've got two things left. Fluid packaging is useful to get the backpack a little more, the, excuse me, the jetpack a little more up to date and running. Uh, logistics is actually going to be a bigger one for me, and I can get all of those things easily. So we're going to go ahead and go with logistics. Now, I can't do anything until they come back. I mean... Yeah, I need 400 of those, but I got a factory building those back behind me. Uh, I got 300 of those, and I got 200 of those on me, so we can get back to those later. Um, we also managed to unlock a few things over here for research. Mainly, I came across a pink power slug, so we can... Our purple power slug, so we can do our next power slug unlock. Research completed. Purple power slugs seem to be near the end of their life cycle and have a significant amount of potential energy stored. It is a good thing fix it does not waste. Purple power slugs can now be processed into power shards. Okay. I don't think there's much else I can do quite yet. Uh, I have to go access that Caterium node. Um, here, I don't have any resin yet. I don't have any... I could probably get that done if I wanted to. I may come back and do it. Um, the next thing on Power Slugs is this, which requires whatever that is. Time Crystals. Yeah, we're a ways away from that. Quartz, again, I can do most of this stuff. And I just hate the fact that those two require hard drives, because I need hard drives for other things. I could unlock smokeless powder. I think I do have that much black powder right now. Let me see what I got can do here. Because I'm making black powder over here somewhere. Here, I think. Yeah. How much do I need? Eh. 200 is probably enough. Okay. Um... Research completed. Smokeless powder recipe unlocked. New sulfur research available for the development of high-end weaponry and ammunition. Now, here's where things get interesting. I have actually found in the past, or in a previous game, I haven't tried it in this one, obviously, that you're almost better off just buying smokeless powder from here. And because I can get a hundred for one ticket and using that to um, deal 
deal with the rest of my, um, you know, using that to build stuff. But we'll worry that, about that in a little bit because weaponry has become a little less important for me now. Now let me show you something I did find and I wanted to wait till I got on a recording to actually do it. Um, I had been out searching for power slugs. I think I mentioned last time that I needed some power slugs. So I had been running around this way, up on the top of these hills, because power slugs were there. The purple power slug I saw was over there, which, yeah, this guy was a problem. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Um, I turned off animal aggression. I was kind of tired of it. I had left it on because I needed um, DNA capsules for various amounts of research and that sort of thing. But, and I didn't feel, I just don't like killing critters when the critters, whoops, when the critters aren't bothering me. So I left it on, but as I walk further afield, I'm getting to critters that will just tear me to shreds if I don't, if I try to fight them. So I just sort of, hi again, have a nice day. So, yeah, we're ignoring each other. Anyway, I have been running around this way, putting, hopping up onto the top of various things. And I wound up deciding I wanted to be on the top of this hill up here. Because, again, I was looking for power slugs. And I have like 30 or 40 of them now. I'm getting there. But I wound up here. These two guys, yeah, he was, yeah. He's actually the reason I turn it off. Because if I come up here, I saw something purple up here and thought it was a purple power slug. Nope. That is Sam. Sam or. I, there used to be a lot more trees up here. Um, they're gone now because all of those outcrops are uranium, which means they're radioactive. And I die if I spend too much time near them. So I was throwing Noblisk down at them, trying to see if that would destroy them the way it destroys other things. And the answer is no, you can't destroy them. So I'm kind of stuck a little bit right now. As you see, if I try to get too close to that, you see. And I can spend a little bit of time near them, but not too much or they will kill me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build me a platform right about here. Let's see here. And you're kind of, let's make that solid. And I'm going to try to build me a platform up here that I can work from. Seven wide, I think. I can do that. Okay. I'm going to build a... Start working from up here. Because... There's no reason I should just extend this stuff out in midair. I don't want to know what the sheer strength of these orientations are that allow this. Now, as you can see, there's... I told you I'd done work on my oil setup. As you can see, my oil setup looks pretty nice at this point. Um, there's the factory that I wished I had waited to show y'all, but I'll run over there in a little bit. Right now, I want to do stuff here. So what I'm going to do, once I have a little bit of space to work up here, and I cannot do that to save my computer right now, is, okay, I'm going to throw from, whoops, from way over here, I'm going to throw a Minor Mark II, which would be great if I hadn't forgotten to build some portable miners. That's okay. So I'm just going to throw a... I need a... I'm going to need one of these. And I'm going to need one of these. So we'll just sit these here for right now. 
And hi, I need two of you. Okay. Now I'll come over here and again, not getting. See, this is the middle one. Damn it. And we're gonna throw a Mark II miner right there. Then, that Mark II miner, that happens to be a pure node, even. I did find that out when I ran over there. And, um, so which means it's going to be producing 240 per minute. So I need a Mark III belt to get it from there to here. The problem is, it doesn't want me to do that, you see, because... Yeah, there's a, um, that's in the way, and I can't get rid of that. So I have to put this a little off-center from where I want it, but we're going to put it right here for right now. In fact, what I'm going to do instead of putting that there, let's just build a, I don't need a big one, let's just build a storage container right here. Then, let's run in and out real fast. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to need to power that thing. And eventually, I'm going to run power up here, because I will need it for all of my factories up here. Or whatever else I do up here. But for right now, I'm just going to throw down a biomass burner and because I'm going to need it doing a lot of stuff I'm going to connect it to a put a power pole right here and just start connecting things okay have some power now don't need you anymore but I'm going to need a man. All right. As you can see, that thing is now happily feeding Sam Orr into my little container over here. So I'm just going to run over here and grab some. Ignore that clicking sound. And we're going to come over here and we're going to do some alien technology research. Strange alien matter analysis completed. Dormant crystalline SAM can now be found with the resource scanner. In its dormant state, it is safe to handle without special equipment and can be stored indefinitely. Research for enabling the reanimation of dormant SAM is now available. Fill the rivers with blood and let the effigies defile our temples. The sun will follow. Now to do this, we need some more sand. Sam reanimation recipe unlocked. Sam can now be safely awakened, provided it is contained. Meaning, if not contained in special electromagnetic storage, it tends to start breaking atomic bonds of any matter it has physical contact with, and reconstructing it into easily transportable resources. Scripture and blood compose harmony. Follow our hallowed temple halls and listen to the echoes of your ripples. 
Our homes are more beautiful than yours. Maybe that's why I keep mine inside my body. Anyway, this is, um... We can research this next, the SAM Fluctuator. To get the SAM Fluctuator, I need 10 of these reanimated SAM and more pipes than I have of me at the moment. So, we may have to delay a little bit more here. But, that's okay. That thing will be happily filling up and then it will stop while we're gone. Because I'm going to need some pipes. And I'm going to need some more stuff later. I'm going to need some Mercer spheres. But for right now, let's just... Whee! Ow. That hurt. I guess I didn't stop long enough. Okay. Let's go on down here and start looking at some other stuff. The main thing I've got over here is I've got a bunch of oil nodes all joined up now. For example, this guy over here... And I'm not going to show you all of these. This guy over here, he is a impure node, so he's producing 60 a minute. He's coming up here and being joined by this guy, who is 120 a minute. So that's a total of 180 between the two of them. Now then. Over here... Connected properly yet. But up here, I have another oil generator. And as you can see, I'm trying to make these things go a little better by putting catwalks and all of them now. This guy is a pure node. He's producing 240. Well, the pipes I have right now can only run handle 300 a minute, and 240 and 180 are well over 300. So he gets up to here, and he becomes another pipe, which is why I have it in, and why do I have a hole there? Okay. Excuse me while I do a bit of repair with how did those two go? Anyway. These various pipes start connecting in various ways, because it's a mixture of impure, normal, and pure nodes. And I've got them all joined together by the end down here, where each pipe is carrying 300. Now, they're not the best lineup in the world, but they are all carrying 300 at this point. Now, the top two I haven't finished up yet because they're... Um, I'm also having some head lift issues with those. But I can bring this stuff out to here. Remember, this pipe is carrying 300 crude oil a minute, and there's a palm tree growing through the middle of it. That's my space to like fine. I'm running short of space. I can't afford to pick that up right now. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's 300 per minute. Each of these, and I've got one side producing rubber and the other side producing plastic, but they both take the same amount of crude oil. So they're each taking 30 per minute, so I have 10 of these, five on each side. Oops. And they're all shut down right now because they've all maxed out their outputs. I'm not sending the solid outputs anywhere yet. I did bring the fluid outputs, which are these, um, which is this fuel oil residue, I think they call it. Hello? Yeah, heavy oil residue. Because I can turn heavy oil residue into fuel. This guy is producing 10 per minute over here. This guy over here is producing 20 per minute. Now, I probably should split these to both doing the same thing, because I have three pipes. So I have one set I'm going to turn into pure rubber, the other one I'm going to turn into pure plastic, and the third one into pure fuel, which gives me that, um, pl that um, polymer resin that I need for some other recipes. But for right now, and those will be built out 
that way. For right now, I'm going to assume this will eventually be my plastics factory. And it will only need, um, it will be producing 100 heavy oil residue per minute. So, let's look and see what our refinery to make fuel would require. Come on, line up. Why do you not want to line up? Okay, fine. Oh, I'm backwards. There we go. You still don't want to line up. Okay. Oh, yeah, those are straddling the line, aren't they? Okay, fine. Ah, why do you not want to line up, machine? Fine, I'll do it the hard way. Is that right? No, that's too far up. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. I was having trouble with the um, separation. There we go. That's what I was doing wrong. Okay. We're gonna have you creating fuel. Now, to make fuel... Residual fuel is what you want. You need 60 per minute. Now you're getting you're going to be getting 50 per minute from each side. So um, I'm going to have to underclock you a bit. So let's put the other one here. Oh, I'm missing steel pipes. Man, this thing really does not want me to do stuff today, does it? All right. Well, we'll just do some more research then. Told you I was out of practice here. So let's go do some more stuff over here. In the course of exploring, I also found this thing out here. And I put that tower there just so I didn't remember where it was. This is... Take some more motors, thank you. This is a drop pod. I need to sacrifice some of my encased industrial pods to get it. There we go. We now have a hard drive. I also have, if you notice, a full... Um, this is full. So, I've got a whole, I hate to do it, I always hate to destroy things, but I got a whole industrial container of that stuff up there. Also some gas note list. What do I want with that? Uh, some more encased industrial beams. Ooh, I can't pick up anymore. Yeah, okay. I got it. Should have cleared out my inventory some before I headed out. But anyway, there's more stuff hanging around up there. I'll just have to come get it later. In fact, I had left a storage container over here for kind of that reason. He's holding a bunch of that stuff. Let's see here. What can I do without right now? Take some of that. Take some of that. Uh, I should have turned you into a power shard just to not be carrying you around anymore. Um, carry that, carry that, or hold that. Okay, that should give me enough space to not have to worry too much. Yeah, usually I do a lot of this. This is why I do a lot of this stuff offline and just show you when I'm ready to go. I guess I wasn't really prepared today. Um, Let's go back over here. Oops. Oh, there it is. I walked right past it. Right here, got some more rubber. Some more beams. There we go. Over here, there's some quick wire. Yeah, I'll need that. Some research. Oh, went out for my. Oh, there's a Mercer sphere. Hey guys, don't mind me. Hmm, didn't have anything to say. Do 
usually when I've been picking up Mercer Spheres, that alien voice comes on and says something. And the last time I did it, Ada started responding to them and said something like, oh, I can hear you now, or something like that. Or actually they said, you can sing now, is what I think they told Ada. That's on one of those, my other streams. I did do a lot of stuff on a Twitch stream, and again, if you look at my Twitch channel, which is linked down below, you can see those. And oh, there's another fart rock. The reason I'm coming over here is, I think this is the right spot. There's another hard drive around here somewhere. This one, and I need these computers because it wants computers to move. Okay. It is another hard drive. Okay. Some more encased beams. I ran out of space again. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back over here and get some more stuff later. But, oh god, we need so many things right now, don't we? Okay. Um. Anyway, that's my oil setup. I'm going to have to expand it, as I said. I'm going to come back to it. Because one of the problems I'm having right now is my power supply is getting a lot tighter than I would have really liked. But I did run my power grid out here, so once I get the fuel generators online, they'll be the problem is, right now I am producing at most 15, well, 1680 if the biomass burners kick in. I'm producing only 1500 megawatts, and if everything kicks on at once, I'm using almost 2000, which means I'd be in trouble. Now, fortunately, I'm only using about 300 right now because a lot of machines are backed up. But I've also got a lot of problems going on in that I'm running low on copper um, resources because I had turned those off when I when I was rebuilding my main factory back down around the corner in my original spot. When I was building my original factory back in my original spot, um, I didn't have space for my copper. I also have a alternate recipe for copper now called um, Pure Copper Ingots, I think, which uses a, fine, a refinery instead of a foundry. And refineries are big, but and it takes water, but instead of one copper ore producing one ingot, one copper ore produces two and a half ingots. So it's much more efficient. The problem is I got to figure out a space to put it, and space is becoming a premium over there. All right. Did I ever tear that down up there? Yeah, I don't have a bam over here anymore. I used to have one, but fine. I'll build a new bam. That's the advantage. I can just flap these down where we're all right, you start working on that hard drive. Have fun. Okay. Oh yeah, and you get some more space. I should wait until I have can W or because to define you'll give five, you'll give me ten. Oh, I really don't want to waste it yet. Okay. I hate doing this. I'm carrying too many motors around with me. I had those because I needed those to build the refineries with. You two can be set aside for the moment. You can be set aside for a moment. I'm going to set you aside for a Oh, there's two of you. No wonder I'm having this much space. Okay. So all of you are set aside at the moment. Great. Okay. And what was I short of? Pipes.
and I am still underproducing here because what I can do you get like three sets of you there we go what I can do here once I'm done see up here I'm just producing iron ore and I'm feeding iron ore into these um, foundries here to reduce so three iron ore three coal give me three steel ingots now there's a recipe over here called the solid steel ingot solid steel ingots and i just broke it because i did that solid steel ingots take two iron ore and two two iron ingots and two coal to produce three steel ingots so and that's partially because i'm underclocked here if I went that back up to full, so I was pulling in the three and three, which I had previously, I would be producing, well, even more. Because this isn't going to work right now because there's no iron ingots in here. But, so, let's go back to where it was for now, just so we keep running. fix that later. Okay. Honestly, I could go ahead and fix those now while I'm here. I'm just trying to figure out what I, what's the most efficient thing for me to do at the moment. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that now. I'll wind up with a bunch of stuff I don't need, but I can fix it manually. Okay, first thing I want to do is up here. this to train. I want all the iron ore to go away. Because I'm going to need the space. And I'm going to have to build a couple of refinery, or foundry, not foundries, um, forges. Foundries? Oh god. Smelters! That's the word I can't remember. Yes, I am an engineer. Why are you asking? Okay. Need... need stuff on the other side. To do it. The reason I want to do this, let's just clean you up right now. We do the same thing on the other side. Is you're producing 240 iron ore per minute each. Uh, the thing I can never remember what it's called. Smelter! <laughs> Each smelter here is going to be producing 30.
here. Okay, so each of you is taking in 30 and be putting help in 30. So let's throw some splitters in. Since each of you will only be taking 30, you only need to use. But since I'm running 240 in, I'm going to need a high speed one. Between you. Also, back here, I need to start taking out. So you need a merger. I just need to power all this stuff up, which means I need to figure out where to run some power poles. And yes, this is going to add to that power demand that I'm having trouble with. Oh good, my man finished doing something. We'll get back downstairs and fix that in a minute. Okay, so you can sit here. things are complaining because I haven't told them that I want them to make iron ingots yet, like, which kind of bugs me because I'm giving you iron. I mean, what else are you going to do with it? But okay, fine, whatever. And why am I missing a conveyor belt here?
we're now outputting. It's not a one, but it should be a two. Now we should be outputting 240 per minute. So now let's go down here and see what this does. All of these things are currently backed up because they're not producing what they would want. Because they're getting three, 60 iron ore and 60 coal per minute. Or that they want coal, but they're not getting iron ore anymore. So we're going to switch to here. And we're going to pump these up. So they're now producing 60 per minute, just like they were before. But we're now outputting 90 per minute. We have just doubled our steel production. Now the only problem with that is this machine isn't expecting 90. It's expecting 60. We're now producing 22 per minute. And you... Well, let's just run you at full. Actually, full is still not enough. And I probably should just come in and put more machines in. But for right now, let's just get this done. I want to... Okay, to get from... I don't think I can do anything with that one right now. Enough to make it worth it. What am I doing? There we go. But yes, we're now producing more steel ingots than our machines can actually handle. Because I'm producing half again as much. Um, I'm going to probably come back down here and just add more machines into the mix. Actually, I haven't updated my other boundaries yet, have I? There you go. Oh yeah, you're messed up because you've got iron ore everywhere, damn it. That's the main disadvantage of changing recipes. You got to um, then go in and just fix all this stuff by hand. over here is now producing at half again what they were before, although I don't have it, the exterior, the second tier machines cleaned up yet to do them. I will do that. In the meantime, let's go back down here. Let's see what came out of my man research. choice of coated cables, which I've not ever really had a problem getting that, and I don't want to have to pump. I'm going to turn my heavy oil residue into fuel. I don't want to waste it on that. Over here, circuit boards are normally copper and plastic. This takes two copper and four plastic to reuse one. This will take 11 copper and 11 silica produce 5, which is takes slightly more copper, but um, not silica. 
Silica doesn't get used that much, if I recall, so fine. We're going to take that. Meanwhile, we have another hard drive to see. There we go. So, now that we've got that set up and running, <sighs> what did I need something for up there? I can't even remember what I was doing anymore. As you can tell, I didn't really prepare for this. Actually, what I think I'm going to do next... Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I got a bunch of crap I'm just hanging on to because of that ore and stuff that I was... So let's just... I'm just going to clean this stuff up manually here just to have it cleaned up. And that's going to take forever. Um, I'm going to run back up to the base for now. And... Um, decide what we're going to do next. I've got a couple of things that I need to do right now. I need to get the, um, I need to get those, um, steel plants that I just left handling their 50% increased output. And then I need to get the, um, I need to get the fuel plant on refineries online and the fuel plant set up, which means I need to finish setting up my rubber, my second and third production lines over there. I need to go get that Caterium ore site set up and running so I can have some Caterium so I can start researching up the electronics tree. And I need to unlock some more milestones, which are all up here as well. So. That's kind of what I'm going to be doing next. I may actually do all of that, a lot of that live on stream because it's going to be actually producing stuff and not just doing cleanup. I've also got to get my copper factory back up and online because right now my copper factory is all. I don't have a copper factory. I just need to find a place to put it. And it's getting dark anyway. So um, let's just head back to base for now. Uh, throw what I've got into the... Um, space elevator, not space elevator, the um, hub, just so I can get the, um, get some more space in my inventory, because you see that's going to be a problem. And we can go from there. Now, the main thing that I'm going to be have to do later, oh yes, I have to go back over to where the, um, that SAM deposit is, and set up a fact some factories there. Because what I really want there is something called Dimensional couldn't quite unlock it yet because I didn't have the stuff with me I needed to do it. But I can stop and show you what that is when we get over here. Now, first thing I'm going to do is this is my coal and sulfur over here where I'm making black powder. That random coal I picked up. That's yours now. Okay. Oops. Over here. I also need to start putting some lights up here, but I need Katarium for that as well. More reason to get Katarium in the running. Um, the Dimensional Depot lives right here. And I can't build it yet because I don't have enough of those, whatever those are, the um, SAM fluctuators. But what the Dimensional Depot lets me do is I can pipe output into the Dimensional Depot. And then, when I build something using my build gun here, instead of it coming from my inventory, a new panel over here will show Dimensional Depot, and stuff that I'm going to need just to build factories with, and that sort of thing, I won't have to carry around with me anymore. I won't have to carry sheets or rods or these things. They'll all be happily stored in the cloud, and I can download them to my build gun. Yes. Wouldn't that be great if you could do that in real life? Anyway, there's those. There's those. That's full. I can go buy some more. I need to go get some more of these. Um, you know, it's dark. I don't want to run out right now and do it. So I'm just going to call it a day right here. I'm going to call this video done at this point.
and we're going to I have a dismantled crate now great okay I'll have to pick up whatever that is too in the meantime um, I am Dennis I'm the paleo gamer and I think you know what we're going to be doing next time so I will see you then <laughs>